Hello everyone, I hope you are well and welcome to my channel. If this is the first time that you are in my channel, please subscribe so you can see the latest and the best solution for different IT problems that you face during your working day. In this video at LearnTech, I am going to show you how you can restore files by using file history in Windows. I want to point out that to be able to use this function, you must have activated before the file history function. If you want to see how you can activate that, please watch my step-by-step -step video, which you can find from the recommended videos up to this video and at the description of this video. So let's start. First of all, we have to go at search here and we write control and we'll select this option here, control panel. I know that some updated version of uh, Windows, maybe it will not pop up this control panel here. What you could do is you write control.exe and then it will show you this one. So you press on this and view by, you have to choose large icons. And then from the option here, you choose file history and it will show you this view here. It will show you that file history is on if it will be file history off, you cannot restore these files. And how you can do that, you can find from the videos that I have published in my channel and the link is on the description. So from here, I will choose restore personal files. From here, you can see different dates of the backup file. From uh, this button here, I can see, for example, the first backup was done on March 22. And so here is the number one of four. If I press next version, you'll see here second backup, third backup and the fourth backup, which is for today. So here you have to decide from which date you want to restore the file. And also you have to remind it where it is, where it was saved this file. For example, in my case, there is a file in my desktop which is named work. And let's say that I open this file today, right now, and I did a mistake on it. Let's say by mistake, I deleted it and then I saved. So all the work that it was done, it's gone. So if I open it again, so nothing is here. So I, I have to restore the file that it was done and yesterday, for example, or it was done today, but one hour, two hours ago. So I come back here again at the file history. And from here, let's say from March 23, the backup that it was done around one hour ago, I have, I will go in desktop. And here's the file that I want. I select it. And then I click this button here, restore to original location. If the file, the old file is still there, I will have this option, replace the file in the destination, skip this file, compare info for both files. I will select the option, replace the file in the destination. If you want to keep both of the versions, what you can do is that, let's say you cut this old version, this version that is on my desktop and I paste it here, for example, and then I go back to this one here. Let's say, let's close this. And I select again the file that I want to restore. And then I click on this option here, restore to original location. It will not show me again if you, if I want to replace it, but it will show me where it is to restore the file. So I close this and I go to the desktop and I can see that the file is restored and the data that it is inside of it is restored. So that's all that I wanted to show you how you can restore a file using file history. It's not very difficult, but it's something that is really useful in case that you have lost a file and you want to restore it. So thank you very much for watching this video. Wish to you guys all the best and please subscribe to my channel.